So welcome back to the Pelican case. Today I'm just going to go through some of the ammunition I've, I've got for my 308 that I've tried and some that I have never tried. So if you guys have any comments, let me know in the comments below and uh, let's get on with it. So going from right to left, we have the Barnes TSX Boat Tails. This is a full copper jacketed projectile with a polymer tip. Uh, these ones I really like. They're very consistent. The, the 308 really likes to... Uh, to feed these like i do have a bit of bit of problems with them getting some rounds certain rounds getting jammed in the uh from coming out of the magazines uh but i really do like these rounds they're very consistent the brass is actually quite nice to reload uh i've i've, I've had a couple of them and they're sitting at about three reloads three to four reloads now uh, probably should get rid of them soon but they're still going strong and then moving next so we have the hornady sst's so this one is a uh, a lead core copper jacketed polymer tipped around. Uh, these ones I've tried these. I've actually hand loaded these these particular particular projectiles as well, and uh, I really like these. They load really well and they feed really well. And uh, yeah, so they're actually a pretty good round. The Barnes, I still think I like them a little bit more than the Hornady ones, but that's also a matter of preference for me. So we've got the PPU soft points uh these ones i i mainly buy these because they're cheap and uh they're really good to teach some people how to shoot where i am and i'm i'm pretty happy with how they are because I'm, I'm not gonna go spending 70 dollars on a box of uh barns rounds just to teach people or i well teach them large calibers anyway but these ones i found they're pretty good they're relatively consistent they're not as nice as the hornady or the uh the barns rounds but yeah, I'm, I'm not really going for consistency. I'm going for people to have control over a larger caliber weapon as opposed to something like 22s and things like that. Next, these are the Celia Bello rounds. I've never tried these rounds before. Um, I have seen some reviews on them and I've heard good things about them uh, and read some good things. So this is a, this is a semi-jacketed soft point round. Let's try and get the focus there for a second. Yeah, so semi-jacketed soft point round, so it's got that little notch in there where it downsizes itself, so to speak. Um, I've never tried these rounds. Uh, I do hear good things. I'm, I'm just a bit finicky whether or not these will uh, feed into the 308 properly, but they're about $90, they're a little over $90 a box where I am. Uh, yeah, for 50 rounds as opposed to things like the PPU. So if these, I'll try these out. Uh, if I like these and they feed really nice, I'll, I might swap to these as my training rounds for people. Uh, but yeah, the, the brass seems really nice. Seems relatively thick. But I'll have to wait until I fight a few of them to really get a gauge for them. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about this is, well, it comes in a box of just loose rounds, like 90, uh, 50 loose rounds. So that's why I've got the, uh, the, little, the round wallet here, which is actually a product of Sword. So... I'll leave a link in the description if you guys like that. Um, I, I've, I've had this for a little, not too long, but I've had it, and the elastic's still going strong. I've probably had it for about a year or so, but it's good for putting these loose rounds in, especially, especially when you're sitting on a, on a firing point. Okay, moving along, we have the American Eagle 168 grain hollow point boat tails. Yep. And uh, these ones, I actually, I have to actually used these quite a few as well. Like these ones, I, I really do like these rounds. They feed really well. They're relatively consistent. Um, I do, I do prefer some other rounds by comparison, but I really like those ones, and I really like how they feed into the 308. So I, I have to kind of be a little bit picky where I am as well, uh, being that ammo is somewhat scarce and can get really expensive. And then moving along, so I've got some uh, 175 grain hollow point boat tail Fiaci rounds. These ones actually look really nice. I've never tried these before. So they're the uh, Exacta. They seem really nice. The, the actually annealing on the brass looks really nice too. They feel relatively decent. And I'm hoping these ones, these may very well be my uh, my next go to round for uh, either targets or uh, hunting rounds. So let's take a look at that for a second. Yeah, they're 
They're about where I am. They're about sixty dollars a box. So they it rounds around where I am. They they do get quite expensive, especially when you're looking at three hundred eight and some some things like that. Uh, I noticed the other day buying some two D three for the misses, and uh, in the last like six months, the round the pack of uh, same rounds have gone up about eight dollars where I am. So it's getting pretty expensive to just even buy smaller rounds. So that's just that's just what I've got loaded up ready to go i do have some hand loads but i'm not going to give information about them because i don't really want to be liable for anyone using my hand loads i load what i load because i like it okay people need to test 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 like that's i can't say that enough testing your rounds trying to see what's consistent finding different projectiles because every every projectile may be different in grain weight like it may say it's one thing but if you're unless you're weighing every single round uh yeah you're probably not going to gain the consistency if you really really want to you can count your grains as you're hand loading like i i'm a little bit i'm probably a little bit lazy in that sense like i can i've got a powder chucker so that just makes it a little bit easier for me uh but every five rounds i generally tip the, tip the, the powder out and uh just check that out, like make sure I'm still consistent when I'm loading those. So I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or any other types of rounds that uh, I might be able to try with throw eight. So again, my throw eight is a little bit picky when it comes to some ammo. It doesn't like soft points very well. It doesn't like to feed them properly. Um, I think that may be a magazine issue, but I'll just sort that out at a later date. So like, comment, give us a shout out. Again, if you live in the southeast of Victoria and you've got a property you want to shoot, hit me up. We might be able to make that happen. Let's go out and do some shooting. See you all in the next video.